Okay, so first I'm just going to start off by showing you what you will need. So the first thing I did was I painted my nails with a base coat. This is the Sally Hansen Insta Grip um, Fast Dry Base Coat. Definitely recommend using some sort of base coat to help the nail polish stick on. And then you're going to need some sort of light gold or tan color for the, the um, base part of the cheetah print. So if you guys can see mine, the color I'm using is Revlon Nail Enamel in Copper Penny. If you guys can see that. I hope it's not upside down. But this is the color. It's really, really pretty. So you're going to paint that on all of your nails except for the ring finger. And now on the ring finger you need some sort of white nail polish. I'm just using the Wet n Wild Wild Shine nail polish. Oh, French White Cream. I was going to say, I don't even think it has a name. But just any white that you have. And then for the leopard spots, you're going to need a darker brown color. This is the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure Nail Polish in Hot Chocolate or Hot Chocolate. Not quite sure how you are supposed to pronounce that. Just a really pretty um, metallic darker brown. Okay, and then you're also going to need a thin tipped black nail polish. This is going to be to go outside around the leopard spots and also um, to make the zebra stripes. And then um, you're going to need some sort of just spare piece of paper. Mine is like a magazine advertisement. Something, some paper that has like a coating on it or a, pla a piece of plastic to put the nail polish on um, that we're going to make the spots with. And then you just need some toothpicks. Or if you have like a daughter, that would be really awesome. I don't have any of those. Um, so toothpicks work just fine. Let me get a couple out. Ooh, that was too many. Okay, so yes, just to save time, I already put my base coat on and put the bottom part nail polishes. Um, for the Revlon, I only need one coat, but for the white, I needed two. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm going to take my brown and put some of this onto the paper. Okay. Just so you have a little puddle like that. And then I'm probably going to have to zoom in a little bit. Okay, so hopefully you can see my nails. I'll start with this one. You're just going to make like semicircle shapes and then also just some like squiggly lines. So I like to start out by making my first like half C shape. And I like to do that in the middle of the nail, if it will focus, there you go. So you have your first little half C, or I mean I guess half circle, and then you just kind of fill it in a little bit, okay, and then make another little small one. Honestly you can make pretty much whatever shapes you want, um, just try to make like leopard spots so you can have like circles circle dots and then also half C's and try to make some right on the um, tip of your nail and also close to the um, cuticle so I'm going to make one right down here and don't worry about making them too small because um, it's going to take you a lot of work to outline them just make sure that you have a couple on each nail. Okay, so this one is done. Maybe you guys, oh, I wish it would focus. There you go. So you guys can see that. I'll do this one as well. So I'm going to do my half C on this other side. Because you don't want all of your nails to be like exact copies of each other. You just kind of want to freehand it and make it be somewhat unique. It'll look better if you don't have like the same exact pattern over and over. Because um, I'm pretty sure leopard spots are unique anyway. 
And even if it's a bit messy or you mess up, it really won't matter. No one will be able to tell. Okay. Got a little extra right there. Okay, so there's my two nails with the leopard spots. Um, I'm going to let that dry. Well, I'll do the rest of them and I'll let them dry and then I will be back. Alright, so I'm back. My nails are mostly dry on the little spots. Oop. And this is what they look like, in case you're curious. So they just have like little half circle kind of shapes and then some kind of unique weird dots. <laughs> you just want to make some like odd, unique, organic looking shapes. Okay. Oh, this is so hard. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to start doing the zebra stripes and then I will do go back and do the cheetah spots. So you're going to need your thin tipped, um, whatever this is called, nail polish. If I can get it open. Okay, and if this is your first time doing this, you might want to pull a picture up online or have something zebra print in front of you. But you're pretty much just making um, diagonal shapes. Or, not shapes, stripes. <laughs> That's what I meant. So, you want to wipe your brush off really, really well. So, if you guys can see that. You hardly have any nail polish on it at all. And you're going to start from this opposite side of your nail, touch it onto your nail, and then bring it across and flick it off. You really have to work on the f um, flicking part to get the um, stripe looking, I don't know, not uniform. So it looks like an actual zebra stripe instead of just lines. So I hope, oh, this is going to be hard because <laughs> I'm going to block you. Okay. So then I'm going to come across on this side and go back across. So you're just doing diagonal stripes and then this one is going to come up. I like to do one on one side and then have one, um, this is hard to explain. So on one side you have like the single stripe and then on the other side you have um, kind of more of like a double stripe. If you guys tell what I mean. Okay, so keep doing that. This part is probably going to take you the longest just because you have to clean off the brush all the time or you'll get too thick of a line. Alright, so I'm going to do the next one. Okay, I'll do all of the ones that are going to go across. And you want to make them varying lengths too, so like a shorter one, a longer one, and then a shorter one. And then I like to just have a little one at the top, just close to the tip of your nail. Okay, and then I'll do the other stripes this way so you guys can see. Alright. Sorry if my hands are shaking, this takes a lot of concentration. Oh, that one didn't look very good. That's okay. See, it doesn't really matter if you mess up because it's still going to look like zebra print. Just go slow, take your time, and it'll turn out well. Okay. So if you guys can see that, there's my zebra print. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and fill in the leopard spots. So you're pretty much just outlining them in black, um, but you don't want to outline the whole spot. So, like on this one right here, 
just going to take it and trace around the outside. And you can make these pretty thick because um, you do want to see the black or it's going to look not like a leopard spot. Okay, now I'm going to trace on the outside of this one. You just don't want to, um, like I said, yeah, trace the whole outside or it'll look funny. Can't really explain it any better than that. Just make each one, you know, freehand, unique. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. I'll hold this up so you guys can see it. Oops. I really hope you guys can see the colors. I have a lamp here so I can see what I'm doing and it's kind of not making them look right. So, I'll do this nail as well, and then I'll come back at the end and show you them. So, you're just outlining them again. And this, honestly, you can do it as fast as you want, or as slow and meticulous as you want. Um, but what I like is... Even if this is like the first time you're trying it, it's still going to look really good and um, very, I don't know. I want to say professional, but not like work professional, like you went to the salon and got your nails done by a professional. That's what I meant. Even if you just did it yourself. Okay. So. There's what the finished ones will look like. I'm going to do the rest, and then all you need to do is a top coat, and you will be done. Okay, I hope that helps. If you have any more questions or anything, just let me know. Okay, thanks everybody. Bye.